I've just discovered AI tools that governments, police, and even individuals like you would prefer not to fall into the wrong hands. Among these, WormGPT is notably popular, but I've just come across another equally concerning one. This video must be shared responsibly. After watching it, you'll gain insight into the lesser known, darker aspects of AI technology that are seldom discussed. WormGPT and FraudGPT are prime examples of AI that exist for criminal purposes. These tools can also be misused to create fake content, spread lies, and even engage in illegal activities. The real issue here is that not everyone is aware of the dangers of these tools, but the solution is simple, knowledge and awareness. This video is all about shedding light on the true nature of these tools, highlighting why they differ from everything you know. So let's start. AI systems like ChatGPT and Google Bard use deep learning to make realistic text from lots of data. They can create chatbots, stories, and even write code, but they can also be used for bad things. This includes making fake news, spreading false info, pretending to be someone on the internet, and generating tricky emails as seen in these screenshots. These emails are often meant to fool people into clicking on bad links or telling secrets. As you can see, they can make fake emails seem more believable and personalized because they adapt to the way people talk. They can create harmful stuff and be used for bad things, like teaching how to steal information, or even how to create homemade bombs. To deal with these problems, both ChatGPT and Google Bard have some safety features. For example, ChatGPT has a safety filter that can stop or change bad content and has rules against using it for illegal or harmful stuff. Google Bard has a similar safety filter and also says that what it creates is not real and shouldn't break Google's rules. These safety features are good, but smart criminals can still find ways around them. Now, the thing with WormGPT and FraudGPT is that it doesn't have any rules and safety measures. It can make all kinds of stuff without anyone telling it to stop. WormGPT was made from eLuther AI in 2021. Reportedly, WormGPT underwent training with a diverse array of data sources, with a pronounced focus on data related to malicious software. The model boasts an array of features, including the ability to accommodate limitless characters, recollect prior conversational history, and format computer code proficiently. WormGPT is built upon the GPTJ language model, which was developed in 2021. You might know about ChatGPT, which has safety and ethical measures to prevent it from creating harmful or inappropriate content. But WormGPT doesn't follow those rules. It's purposefully made for doing bad stuff on the internet. It is the tool of choice for phishing emails, spreading malware, or seeking guidance on illegal activities. To show how powerful WormGPT is, SlashNet, which is a medium-sized enterprise that specializes in developing customized software solutions and web applications, did an experiment. They told it to make an email that pressures an account manager into paying a fake invoice. The results were scary. WormGPT made an email that wasn't just convincing, but also very smart. This showcases its potential for executing sophisticated phishing attacks. SlashNet also did some tests to check how good WormGPT is at making phishing emails that look real. They asked WormGPT to create emails that pretended to be about resetting passwords, asking for donations, or offering fake jobs. After making these fake emails, they gave them to some people to rate. People could rate them from 1 to 5, where 5 means very real. The results were not good. The fake emails made by WormGPT got an average score of 4.2, which means they looked very real. Many people who saw these emails said they could easily be fooled by them. These emails seemed real because they used everyday words, were written in a formal way, made sense in the given situation, and sounded like someone in charge. They also made it seem urgent and got people to trust them by using social tricks. The people behind WormGPT say they trained it using a variety of data, with a big focus on data linked to harmful software. Another well-known example from SlashNet showcased WormGPT's skill in composing a persuasive phishing email that pretends to be from the CEO of a company. It costs around 60 euros every month or 550 euros each year. 
They're also kind enough to offer a free trial for anyone who wants to experiment with this shady technology. But Worm GPT is not the only AI capable of this. According to Trustwave Research, Fraud GPT is another harmful AI model that emerged in July 2023. Fraud GPT is a useful tool for making malware that can't be detected, writing harmful code, discovering leaks and weak points, creating fake pages to steal information, and learning how to hack. Fraud GPT can generate a code for the Bank of America scam webpage or a malicious SMS to convince victims to follow a specific link. The developer claims that Fraud GPT is handy for learning hacking. This illustrates how cyber criminals can use advanced AI chatbots as inspiration to create their malicious tools using LLMs, writing malware and harmful code, crafting phishing materials and searching for vulnerabilities. If these tools end up with bad people, it can help them do really damaging online attacks easily. This not only makes things harder for cybersecurity experts, but also makes cybercrimes bigger and more complicated. Phishing emails are a common type of online scam. These emails can have different goals, like stealing your usernames and passwords, putting harmful software on your computer, or making you send money to the bad guys. One of the sneakiest types is called Business Email Compromise, or BEC. In these, the scammers pretend to be someone you trust, like your boss or a company you work with, to make you send them money. This has cost businesses more than $1.8 billion in 2020, according to the FBI. These attacks are tricky because they look like normal emails. They don't use technical tricks, but instead play with your mind to make you do things you shouldn't. But now, WormGPT makes these scams even more dangerous. It can automatically create fake emails that look so real they can fool even really careful people. WormGPT is incredibly risky because it can create emails that look professional, important, and convincing. It can change its writing to match the situation, making its messages seem real. Plus, it remembers past conversations to build trust with the person it's emailing. It can even format text to create invoices, receipts, or contracts that seem legit and support its fake requests. Indeed, people who want to do bad things on the internet are the biggest fans of WormGPT and FraudGPT because it make it easy to do tough cybercrime. So, anyone using them can easily do harmful cyber attacks. This makes it easier for more people to commit crimes, and these attacks are getting bigger and more complicated. It's making the job of cybersecurity experts harder as they have to deal with these tougher attacks. If you've watched this video all the way through, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment below to let us know you've gained some insights from the content. Check out this video on your screen that I've selected just for you. Thanks for watching.